you roll up to Chicago today, you see this monster that is Lollapalooza. What were your first impressions when you when you showed up? Um, oh my God! Ab yeah, absolute excitement. No words. It was just like dot dot dot. Like yeah. uh, this is crazy. And especially once we got to our stage where we were performing, and I walked up there and I looked at it, I was like. Yeah, this is like a childhood dream, really, because I mean, we grew up like watching Lollapalooza, like big fan of Jane's Addiction, yeah. and all of that stuff. So, this is amazing to be here. And Chicago's freaking out. It's the best city in the Midwest. Right? Lollapalooza is sort of. I mean, there are other festivals. But Lollapalooza has kind of been the American festival for um, you know, over 20 years. And so, when you found out, you get the call, hey. I want you to do Lollapalooza. Do you remember the, the sort of reaction or the internal discussion yeah. you had? Definitely. Yeah, it was like. I'm playing what? Like, stop lying. Pinch me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm playing the same festival, like, Rage Against the Machine and, like, yeah. Ice-T and all these amazing artists, Kanye. And over the last crazy. year, like, we've done a bunch. We did Bonnaroo and South By and ACL and yeah. done a bunch it's, of festivals. It's tops them all, though. Like, it's, it's, it's always fun to go to festivals. It's always a good, a good thing. But, like, Lala is just kind of, like, it's got that added factor of it's right in the heart of, a, like, a big city and you're in Chicago and it's fun and there's... Like it's a different energy than the other festivals that we played, and it's it's, just, it's it's a lot. Like we've only been here for a couple hours. And like, I mean, come on, it's festival. like Grant Park. Already, like you don't get no better than Grant Park. Yeah, like, it's beautiful. It's, it's awesome. awesome. Yeah. It's where Lake Obama, Shore, made it Obama made exactly. <laughs> like this is history right now. We on historic soil right now. Say. So you know we doing this. When you play a festival, how does that affect sort of the way you guys approach a set list or sort of the, your attitude, knowing you know it's not a dark club, it's not 10:30 at night. Energy. Like, we want to bring, we want to give our soul out there on that stage. Like we want to just put all our energy and have no muscle work in when we're done. Like that's what we want to give to the people. So I always preach like an energetic set from everybody. Like everybody just do their thing. So. But I, but I think on top of that too, like we we do want to bring that energy. But at the same time, the festival experience is kind of the opportunity. Like when we play like the club shows and the party shows, it's like. We play our party set. We play the set that everybody's gonna yeah. dance to and party to. Right. But the festival kind of gives you that opportunity to do the fun, energetic and party it's good stuff. To connect with but kind of do a like lot of show a little bit more variety and do yeah. some other songs that we don't normally do. Yeah, man. So it's it's uh, it's really fun to do that because the, the set has a lot more variety. I feel like yeah. and we get to kind of yeah. express more like yeah. a higher, a far, like a bigger range of uh, stuff. And you like the free beer, right? That's yeah. what you're talking no, about. Free beer's free not beer. a bad thing. That's it's what it's free beer. Those gingers, man, I love the beer. When I came for it. It's a Viking yeah, blood. <laughs> no, seriously though, like it's just great to connect with like the thousands of people you you know never get to see in your city. So it's it's amazing. It's a blessing to be here. It's like real talk. So this is uh, we were talking earlier. This is actually Lollapalooza has been around 21 years. So I'll ask you if you were going to make the Lollapalooza cocktail, what would be the ingredients that would go into the drink that would be Lollapalooza. Wow. wow. It would be, uh, I'm, I'm, the re I'm the residential See, alcoholic yeah. expert. Yeah. So let me, let me, let me mixologize this. I think it would be um, two shots of Everclear. Um, <laughs> there we go. Something summery, something warm, maybe a little St. Germain. Just dump that in there. Maybe a little splash of soda and then like a few dashes of like, uh, Tabasco or something. I don't know. Yeah, you get real swanky right now. And then we'll just you're dump a bunch swanky. of Bud Light in it, and yeah. then it's it's we're a good. Party. We're good. Yeah. yeah. I'm a, nobody's gonna wake up. I'm a <laughs> I'm a Southern gentleman, but I know that like Chicago likes his Grand Marier, oh, so I would have oh, to yeah. do some Grand Marier, maybe a hint of Jameson, you know, to add that Southern flavor to it. Orange and whiskey. Yeah. That's how I get down. All right. It's and your then, deal, man. you know. That's all I need, really. Shit, I'm good after that. As long as it gets you messed up, yeah. then it's well, all That's why I put the Everclear in it. And final question, when you when you guys looked at the bill and uh, saw some of the other artists that were here, who kind of jumped out at you as people that you loved this season? Easy question. I already know who he is. <laughs> Little Dragon. Yeah, I, like, Little I'm mom. crazy. I love Little Dragon. I'm, I'm a big fan. I actually made our manager, like, work around that schedule so that there was no way we would miss them. So we're going to go tomorrow and catch I'll be honest, out. man. I'm, I'm excited to see Frank Ocean, but I was, yeah. like, I was yeah. stood out to me the most was how many Nashville bands were on there. Yeah. Like, yeah. there's so many people that I know, like, you know, Black Keys, Jeff the Brotherhood, Moon Taxi. Like, it's so many people that I, like, run into that I know. Kopecky. And Kopecky. 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 Sure, can't forget Kopecky. So oh, it's speaking just of that, go. that Nashville <laughs> to Chicago connection is, is cool. But yeah, definitely Frank Ocean. I want to see him do his thing. And Justice, like, Oh, yeah. You gotta see justice. Like, don't get no big Calvin Harris. Calvin Harris, for sure. Yeah.
Hope we don't bust Little it. Dragon, overall. No